Hi, today is April 29th and I have some great news to celebrate with all of you today, so I decided to do it in a video. We have had a change to the shelter in place order that came down today and it does affect real estate. So I wanted to share that with you. So the principal parts of the shelter in place order have remained unchanged. And that is with regards to the public and private gatherings outside your primary residence. That's still prohibited. And so unfortunately, traditional open houses do fall into that category. Those are still prohibited. I want you to focus on the intended narrow uh, exception to the order that talks about uh, the rule when a virtual showing is not possible. The word virtual showing, it, it's not feasible is what I should say, is that you were able to show an unoccupied property or a vacant house. And then you had different associations interpreting, well, what does a vacant house mean? So that has changed with this new order. And how it's changed is they've actually replaced the word residing with the word present. So it's when the seller or the tenant is not present that the home could be shown. So our interpretation coming from our legal department states now that we are interpreting that to read, you are able to show occupied homes as long as the seller or the tenant is not present and still within the guidelines that the original order stated, which is two buyers from the same household and one buyer's agent at a time. So stay tuned because I'm sure there's going to be some interpretation as far as the number of showings you can have in a day. They don't want to inundate a property uh, with showings, that kind of thing. And then obviously that the prospective buyer uh, is wearing the appropriate, you know, facial protection and taking the proper proto, uh, you know, social distancing protocol. So stay tuned for for that, but that's really good news. I mean, there's a lot of sellers that have been waiting to put their homes on the market. They are still living there uh, and they need to get those homes sold. So I think this is gonna open up a ton of opportunity for us. Now this takes effect at 11.59 p.m. on May 3rd. So essentially May 4th is when the new uh, revised order takes effect. So while there's still no physical open houses, the one thing that I've noticed all of you doing is pivoting and doing virtual open houses. And you know, when this all first came down, I said, what, what is a virtual open house? Like really, how do you do that? And I learned from all of you, it's been pretty amazing to see the creativity that you've all been putting into this, whether it be through Facebook Live or through Zoom calls, you have been changing the way we do open houses. So really hats off to all of you for doing that. And, and my hope is that you embrace this and run with it because my understanding is we may not see public gatherings for a little bit of time. And this is a great way to still be able to conduct an open house just in a new world, a virtual open house. So if you don't have a current listing right now, lean into those agents in the office that do, that maybe don't wanna try out the new technology and do a virtual open house. My hope is that I see tons and tons of virtual open houses in the coming weekends, the coming weeknights for that matter. So I look forward to that. Well, again, no open houses, Cobble Banker offices also still remain closed. So that didn't change with the revision of the order. So you uh, cannot have a meeting with clients. They are closed to the public, our offices. Now, if you need to pop into the office to do something quick, you can do that. And we have a company policy that you have to be wearing the appropriate um, facial protection, so a mask. Um, our staff is still working remote. They are popping into the office if they absolutely have to. So again, I ask all of you to adhere to that and to not be working out of the offices on a day-to-day -day basis. If you have any questions about any of this, please lean into your manager. We're here to support you. You can call me as well. Um, I have to say, I wanna give a big shout out and thank you to all of our staff. They've been amazing um, during all of this and their ability to still support all of you, as well as your branch managers. The creativity and the dedication to your support has been unwavering. And so I want to do a huge shout out and a thank you to all of the branch managers um, for really stepping up during this time. 
If any of you have any questions, we're here for you. We appreciate all that you're doing. And again, those who adapt will thrive. And I'm really impressed with everything that has been coming um, down with every uh, one of you thus far. So again, I hope you're staying healthy, happy, and sane. And um, we're here for you if you need anything. Take care.